Daniela Guerrera on Mitch Hunt's unexpected the entrance of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live. That certainly didn't take long. Fans of The Walking Dead were naturally concerned that a Rick and Mitch Hunt series would take a long time to get the two characters together. However, when the couple made touch at the very end of Sunday's amp premiere of The Walking Dead, The Ones Who Live, those worries were dashed like a military jet. In addition to spending some screen time together on a bench during dream scenes earlier in the episode, Dana Guerrero's Michon and the characters ultimately connected in real life, nearly murdering her husband in the process. In a Civic Republic military chopper, Andrew Lincoln's Rick eventually revealed to his senior officer Okafer that he was fully committed to his new goal of aiding in the CRM's reconstruction at the start of the scenario. Naturally, Okafer died instantly after that when a rocket of some kind struck their helicopter in midair. Rick managed to crash land the aircraft, but an attacker quickly attacked him and the other soldiers who were on the ground. And before she could rip off his helmet and recognize that the attacker was her husband, the attacker nearly cut Rick's throat. Yes, Rick was nearly killed by Michon. Why then did you reconcile the long-lost couple so quickly? I believe it was logical, Guerrero says to EW. Because we needed to get to the heart of the matter, which is, what transpires when these two individuals, who have clearly evolved throughout their long separation, reunite. What does that look like with the CRM standing in their way as such a huge barrier and obstacle? How do they manage to go over that? What will it be, exactly? That is not possible until we connect them.